What is up guys? Fred here! Welcome back to the channel and welcome newcomers! And it is time for a new top 3 series as Advance of Intertwined Stars is looming. And this time we're gonna be looking at the best cards from this set to get your hands on and improve your decks. We'll go through all nations in alphabetical order and today we'll be starting things off with Brandgate. We have three ride lines on the menu today, including a brand new one making its debut in the global side of things. I'll include my personal release date deck lists for each build at the end of this video, so stick around. Without further ado, let's kick things off with the boy Orphist. So the Orphist build actually won't change that much as you'll still aim for that big grade 2 turn where you call a shadow army token thanks to the eclipse you fetched and then ram it in thanks to Tamburino, Bobo Mine, or even Alvador. However, it does gain access to some brand new toys including the sole triple rare support card for Brandgate this set. With that in mind, let's look at our first number 3 of the day. Cardinal Fang, Rayogia. Its skill reads auto. When this unit is placed on rear guard circle, look at three cards from the top of your deck. Choose up to one world card from among them, reveal it and put it into your hand and put the rest on the bottom of your deck in any order. Then act on rear guard circle. If your vanguard is cardinal, deuce or fist, cast soul blast one and retire this unit and call a shadow army token to rear guard circle. Rayogia is a straight up better Marisma, which makes it kind of interesting. It's a potential plus one that can morph itself into a Shadow Army token that you actually need to pay for some of your card's abilities. And even if you don't use it as payment for your skills, a 8k unit in exchange for a 15k boosting one is a pretty fair trade-off. Not a must-play card, but one to consider. Now let's move on to our number two, the set order beyond the perpetual time. Skill reads, play this with cost, Soul Blast 2, continuous in the order zone. If your order zone only has world cards, the following effects are active according to the number of cards in your order zone. One card, your world becomes Dark Knight. Two or more cards, your world becomes Abyssal Dark Knight. Then the interesting skill, auto, in the order zone, when your Shadow Army token is placed. That placed unit gets power plus 5k until end of turn. New world. Order. So Orphis now adds a brand new Dark Knight card to its arsenal and it's a pretty good one. A single one of these turns your Shadow Army token columns to 40k and if you're on personal right, we're talking about 50k. Did I mention that this is stackable? Yeah, this will yeet in the darkness nobody knows. More worlds to play around? You should get it. It's time to look at Orphis' top one card of the set. The Triple R. Cardinal Draco Destierde. Its skill reads continuous on rear guard circle. If your world is Dark Knight, this unit gets power plus 2k. If it is Abyssal Dark Knight instead, this unit gets power plus 5k. Active on your opponent's turn too. Then auto, rear guard circle. At the end of the battle, this unit attacked. Cost, retire 3 Shadow Army tokens and stand this unit. Yeah! Horfist gets a restander. 4 attack in such a beat stick deck is very welcome. Sure, it may end up being the weakest of your 4 attacks this turn as you might have to tribute its booster in order to achieve its cost, but when if you're at the point where your opponent's at 5, it won't matter that much. Especially with PGs actually being free on empty hands, uh, swinging with your bigger attacks first in this particular occasion might not be as bad. You might actually force your opponent to discard a card from their hand as they probably won't want to waste their PG on your Destierde. V-Star Vaders don't have the luxury of a Restender yet, but their long lost children Orphis does, so make sure to give the bread it deserves. With Orphist aside, let's now look at our Aurora Battle Princesses. In my opinion, Silver Snow gets the short end of the Brandgate stick in terms of support this set, as the deck's most wanted card is actually PR that hasn't been announced in English yet in the likes of Accuse. Let's have a quick look at her. Aurora Battle Princess Accuse Macalite. Skill reads auto when this unit is placed on rearguard circle from hand, cast Soul Blast 1 and imprison the top card of your opponent's deck face up in your prison. 
Then, if two or more of your opponent's cards are imprisoned in your prison, this unit gets power plus 5k until end of turn. Yeah, she fine. So if you're a prison player, as long as Accuse is out of the equation, even if you skip on this set, you should survive. That being said, Snow still gets some pretty interesting card if you want to add some spice to your list and some of them are probably going to be pretty useful in the future actually so you might want to pick him up now let's look at our number three card aurora battle princess tula bougainvillias her skill reads auto when this unit is placed on rear guard circle choose one of your opponent's imprisoned unit cards in your prison and you may call it to your opponent's open rear guard circle if you call, choose one of your opponent's rear guards and imprison it in your prison. You choose the circle to call it. Bougainvillias is a fun tech you now have access to, especially if you want to punish your opponents that put their following turn call in your jail on your pink right turn. If they did commit a unit to the board, just swap it with that grade 3 or grade 2 they put in jail and put it in their back row center column. What? It seems Yu Yu has something he wants to show you if your locals are full of Bastion players and you want to play her. Thank you. So this funny little trick will work on your local Bastion players if they do put a Fosado in your jail on your pink ride. Let's say you call Bougainvillias, you then take their Fosado, you choose to call it in their center back row rear guard circle. And then Bougainvillea's skill says, choose one of your opponent's rear guards and put it in their jail. But Fosado can't be chosen by your ability, so it's stuck there. Thanks, Yu Yu. <laughs> and that said, she may come in handy in the future though. Because if we do get in the future more cards for prison that have skills when your opponent's units are called from your order zone, in the likes of Turquoise or the new Vermilion, then she can activate these skills on your own turn. So yeah, keep your eyes on her and pick up a few just in case. And with that, let's look at our number two. Aurora Battle Princess Execute Limonin. Her skill reads auto on rear guard circle. When this unit attacks, cast Counter Blast 1 and Soul Blast 3. Choose up to three of your opponent's rear guards and imprison them in your prison. Then, if three or more of your opponent's cards are imprisoned in your prison, until end of that battle, this unit gets power plus 10k, and if 5 or more are in prison, it gets critical plus 1. Lemonin is the aggro some of the prison players might want to add to their decks. Silver Snow triple driving fronts earlier in the game kind of hurts as it's only still 1 damage despite the numbers, so Lemonin might capitalize a bit on that. And she also punishes your opponents that avoid paying your taxes by leaving their units in your prison. She makes for a decent pressure unit. Let's move on to our number one Aurora Battle Princess support. The common Aurora Battle Princess Cough Spring. Her skill reads auto when this unit is placed on rear guard circle. Your opponent chooses a card from their hand and imprisons it in your prison. If a card was imprisoned, your opponent draws a card. Cough Spring is a free guaranteed card in your prison that will help you fulfill your skills requirements. Sure, your opponent might draw into something better, but he also might not. What is guaranteed though, is that card in your prison for free. If he draws into his over trigger, then he will only be able to block a single one of your attacks instead of cocking your whole turn by checking it. Remember Accuse I mentioned a couple minutes earlier? There is actually a decklist running around that focuses on these two cards milling out your opponent. Again, not a must-have card, but still, she's a common. Get a few copies of her, and if we do ever get Accuse, this might be fun. Let's now have a look at the grand debut of the Gravidias. Because it's a brand new ride line being introduced to the global side of things, let's have a very quick look at the ride line's abilities from grade 1 to 3. The grade 1 from the ride line, Gravidia Wells. The skill reads auto when this unit is placed on Vanguard Circle. Look at 7 cards from the top of your deck. Choose any number of Meteorite cards, reveal them and put them into your hand and shuffle your deck. Then act on rear guard circle once per turn if your vanguard is Gravidia Nordlinger. Cost Soul Blast 1, choose up to 2 Meteorite cards from your hand, put them into your order zone, and this unit gets power plus 2k until end of turn. Then the grade 2, Gravidia Beringer. Skill reads auto when this unit is placed on vanguard circle or rear guard circle. 
if you have a meteorite in your order zone. Cost, Soul Blast 3, Joy Card, and this unit gets power plus 5k until end of turn. Then Continuous on Rear Guard Circle. If your drop in order zone have a total of 5 or more set orders, this unit gets power plus 5k. Active on your opening's turn 2. And our brand new boss lady, Gravidia Nordlinger. Skill reads auto. When this unit is placed on Vanguard Circle, search your deck for up to 2 Meteorite cards, put them into your order zone, and shuffle your deck. Then auto. Vanguard Circle. When this unit attacks, cast. Counter Blast 1 and put 1 or more Meteorites from your order zone into your drop. Until end of that battle, this unit gets power plus 15k. If you put 3 or more Meteorite cards in your drop for this cost, it gets critical plus 1. And if you put 5 or more, your trigger effects activate twice. Basically, another set order deck for Brand Gate, but this one goes to the extreme. Let's look at our top 3 card. Gravidia Orgueil. Skill reads auto, rear guard circle. When this unit attacks or boosts, if your order zone has three or more meteorites, cost Soul Blast 2, counter charge 1, and this unit gets power plus 5k until end of turn. Let's be honest, Oge won't see play right now, as we just don't need her yet. The Gravidia deck doesn't ask for a lot of CB now, but that can change any set from now. So that's why I recommend picking a couple of these up for the future. Just in case, let's now have a look at our useful top 2 card. Gravidia's Tunnel. Skill reads continuous on rear guard and guardian circle. If your drop in order zone have a total of 5 or more set orders, this unit gets power plus 5k, shield plus 5k, active on opening's turn 2. Tunnel is simply put, a better Beringer. You'll definitely want 4 copies of her, as this deck unfortunately lacks shield value, and she just helps compensate for that. And let's finish things off on our surprising last top 1 card of the day. The set order and meteorite, Neatness Meteor Shower. Skill reads continuous, you may have up to 16 Neatness Meteor Shower in your deck. Then auto, when this card is put into the order zone, you may soul charge 1. If it was put by your Vanguard's ability, you may draw a card. Then auto, when this card is put into your drop from the order zone, choose one of your opponent's rear guards and retire it because of freaking course. Meteors are what you'll need if you want to play Gravidia. Builds vary between 12 to 16 meteors in your deck for the set 3 meta. It all depends on how many flex spots you feel you need for the deck as the Gravidia support is pretty low at the moment and we won't get to recycle meteorites until set 4. So keep that in mind while building your set 3 deck. And that is it for me today guys, thank you so much for watching, please leave a like, please subscribe. The top 3's for the 4 other nations are coming pretty soon and as I said earlier my personal deck list for the release day builds of every deck we covered today are just coming up in this video. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.